Hey guys, as many of you know, I just went to Norway! This is the official hand symbol of Norway. I don't actually know that. Despite the fact that I don't really generally like sweets, I do enjoy trying sweets abroad. Why, you may ask? Because they're usually so different and weird! So come with me on this sweet treat journey as we do the Norwegian candy haul! Yum yum! Clicky, clicky. Double clicky. Oh wow, so many delights! The first candy we're gonna try is called Damn! So let's review it and move on. As is what happens in candy hauls. Ooh, wow, it's been so morphed from plane travel. Yum, oh. Smells like, I can't tell if that's actually cat food or is the tell it smells like cat food. Let's take a bite. It's just like a toffee. It's a chewy toffee candy. Damn, that's pretty good. The next candy I wanna try is Hobby. Let's taste it, uh-oh. Again, the candy appears to have morphed from plane travel. It is now that dry, chalky, chocolate aspect that happens to candy when it gets weird. Let's, uh-oh. Why does it smell kind of fruity? Ew, why is it so soft? Okay, take a bite. Ew! <laughs> Oh, what is this? Okay guys, at first bite, I don't know if you can see, it appears to have a marshmallow bottom with some sort of sweet honey berry top dipped in chocolate. Is that what you are? This disturbing hobby bar? See, it's all mushy. Ugh. Soft light foam with banana jelly covered in milk chocolate. <laughs> Oh my god, they got a carrot weed Norwegian, then I never would have bought this. Who's hobby's target demographic? Monkeys? Is the real hobby making freaky nasty chocolate bars Norway? The people need to know. Moving right along, the next candy I want to try is brought to us by the very good Sir Tutti Frutti. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Sir Tutti Frutti. And on the back of the package, Sir Tutti Frutti is joined by all of his cool cartoon gangster friends. Let's take a bite. Well, it tastes basically like a sweet and sour candy, but there's this mysterious white center throughout, which I hope isn't Sir Tutti Frutti's special edition. I give Sir Tutti Frutti candy an A plus for color and a B minus for taste. Sir Tutti Frutti comes in all different flavors. Salt, salt, mint, cola, wait, salt is a flavor? More on that in just a moment. The next candy I have to try is called Skipper. When we were shopping in Norway, we saw this bag and the candy inside, and it literally looks like leeches. Ugh. Let's give this blood sucker a try. Ah. Ah. A delicious licorice candy. I have no complaints. You really know you're a grandpa when you like black licorice candy, you know? Because it's delicious. Since 1922! Oh, one of my favorite years. Now, considering that I like black licorice candy, I got a little bit adventurous and bought a second black licorice candy that comes in this tiny box. See? It's called Salt Lacris. Let's give it a go. Oh, look, it has little black licorice buttons. That's gonna make it way more edible than like an entire leech. Oh no. Guys, this literally tastes like salt tabs. Like it tastes like tabs of salt. Chewy salt. Why? Something that we noticed in Norway was that there are trolls everywhere. And I went online and looked up why are trolls everywhere in Norway. Turns out trolls actually come from Norway. So that's a fun fact. Also related to our next candy snack, which is these troll cookies. Mmm. This box is called G-J-E-N-D-E, -E, which I can only imagine is pronounced gender. But you know, what is gender anyway? This is a little happy troll guy. Let's taste. Oh, that's delicious. It's kind of like a vanilla wafer. Mm-hmm, and like an animal cracker. I know, that's pretty good. Let's get nuts with hazelnut and eat nougatti. Nougatti be kidding me. Ah, uh, this isn't just any nougatti, this is nougatti crisp, which means that there are little chunky bits in it, I'm wondering. Oh, oh, huh, 
it looks like melted, you guys know crunch bars that have like the little like crunch to them? This looks like a melted pot of that. Let's taste. Yep, it tastes exactly like a melted pot of crunch bars. What would you put this on? You know guys, this would probably be a much better video if um, I enjoyed candy. Um, maybe next time I should do a cheese haul because I feel like that would really be a good time for everybody. Next, I want to introduce you guys to one of my favorite snacks that I only ever get when I'm abroad, which is the caramel wafer. Now, this rock hard cookie is actually really delicious. It's basically two pieces of wafer with caramel in between and then it's like baked or something like that. And you can put, drink it with tea or you can put it on top of your teacup like that so it gets a little soft and hot and tasty and more flexible and then you dip it and you eat it and it's just, it's just great. I'm just gonna eat it right now. It's delicious! Not too sweet, not too mysterious. This cookie is just right. And last but not least, let's try a savory, savory? Let's try a savory snack. Potato chips, but not just any potato chips. These are beef and lock potato chips. I assume lock means onion and not cauldron, but I'm just guessing based on the pictures. Mm. I have to say that every time I travel abroad, I love looking at the potato chip aisle because they always have different types of chips. Like in some countries, they have ketchup chips and pickled chips and shrimp. shrimp chips, all sorts of different things. And beef and onion. Let's see what beef and onion tastes like. Literally exactly like barbecue flavor. I'm so disappointed. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see me eat more things and vaguely react to them, be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you're in New York City, come join us tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, as we have a volunteer donation drive and meetup. Details in my social medias, etc. Check them out. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.